Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Harris and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be reacting to the wisdom of Al Bundy. So without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. What's that? It's an anniversary present for my wife. You're going to get that? Yeah. How many years you've been married? One. <laughs> well, see, that explains it. See, you're obviously new to the married game. Let me help you out. See, the first thing I learned on my 16-year tour of duty was that women live for presents. Now, you take the most ornery woman in the world. We'll call her Peggy. <laughs> now, you bring a crappy present home, like uh, that picture frame, and your life will be a living hell. <laughs> well, my wife and I agreed that we wouldn't spend too much on our anniversary. We decided we'd save our money for more important things. There is no more important thing than your anniversary. There is See, an anniversary is something special. It's not like other holidays when other people are celebrating too. It's just between the two of you. See, it's, it's a day when you can show how you feel the rest of the year, but you don't. Because you're a man. That's beautiful. Yeah, to know me is to love me. <laughs> Why men do what they do? <laughs> what is it with you, Bundy? You still not getting enough curb in your diet? <laughs> I mean, we knock you around, you come back. Why? Why do you do it? For the same reason men climb mountains or sail across the sea alone. For the only reason that a rational man would do an irrational thing like this. Pride. No, women. <laughs> I'm a moron, Ray Ray. <laughs> We're all morons. That's what comes from being a man. From the first little worm they dare us to eat, to the last big shovel full of snow they convince us we can move. We are nothing more to women than an amusement park ride with life insurance. <laughs> Why else would we do the idiotic things that we do? For example, you ski? No. Well, you will someday if a girl wants you to. <laughs> we all would. We'd hurtle down that mountain so fast that the crack of our bodies hitting the tree wouldn't even resonate in their ears before we'd pounce up and say, I'm okay. <laughs> they know we're not okay. Hell, even if they missed that pair of squirrels running away with our hacky sacks. <laughs> One glance down at the color of the snow would hint that there might be some trauma. <laughs> and we've all been to a weight room when a pretty girl walks by and said to ourselves, gee, I think I'll start today's warm-up bench press with, oh, nine tons. <laughs> so you see, Ray Ray, as long as there's women, there'll be men around doing stupid things to impress them. That's why I'm here. That's why you're here. That's why they're here. Now, someday you may evolve beyond this, but uh, it's too late for me. <laughs> I'm too old, too married, and lost far too many hacky sacks. <laughs> so, it's either I split so you look cool in front of your girl, or you look cool in front of yours and kill me. Let's rock. <laughs> yeah. Meet Editor X. Fuck you. The world's most advanced website design platform. Made for. I have been in court on a thousand trumped up charges. Some real, some imagined. The point is, I lost all of them. I don't know the law, nor do I really know how to pleasure a woman. I have no interest in either. But let me ask you one important question. How did we become 
a great country by kicking the heinies of anybody who threatened our borders. Yeah. And that's what I was doing. I was protecting my border. Yeah. Right. If a man comes into my house, he better be carrying a summons or a pizza. That's right. <laughs> but this man wasn't, so I called in the Marines and the 51st Airborne. Yeah. So in conclusion, Your Honor, if you rule against me, you rule against every man who fought for his country. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The boys at San Juan Hill, the boys at Iwo Jima, Audie Murphy, Eddie Murphy, Murphy Brown, <laughs> brown and serve sausage, uh, the cheap brown shoes that every working man is proud to use to kick the hiney of any man who invades his home. Yeah. He's gonna go down. <laughs> True meaning of Labor Day. Now what reeks is this facade that we call Labor Day. Honk if you hate Labor Day. You know what else reeks? Families reek. Honk if you hate families. <laughs> Because they are truly the reason Labor Day reeks. Once a year, they're on these highways and byways. What do they say? We hate this. We hate you. Idiot. Moron. Buffoon daddy. <laughs> Buffoon daddy. But what about us? The ones who truly labor. We're on this stinking road every day, choking and wheezing, marching along like lemmings through a horrible screaming death. Who cries for us, Argentina? <laughs> Not our families. Well, we can't expect that. The yoke on the oxen feels no guilt. <laughs> but what we can expect is that on our one lousy, stinking day off, traffic can move us to our lousy, stinking, pathetic destinations. <laughs> our polluted beaches, our burning forests, our wheezing grandmas to our family barbecues with Uncle Otto and his runny eye. <laughs> but does the highway department prepare for us? Are they out here helping us? Are they out there in front of us by that first damn car that caused this traffic jam saying, step on the gas, you moron! <laughs> Let the 20 million people pass! <laughs> they are not. He's on causing it. <laughs> Why? Because they don't care. And that, my friends, is what really reeks. This is not the first rally we went. <laughs> so let's face it, we're not moving. We're just lining up to die. But let's show them that the American spirit is not dead. So join me, will you, on this, our Labor Day, and get out of your cars and tear this highway to bits! Go in your trunks! Get your tire irons and your road flares! Burn, baby, burn! Vengeance is ours! Bear and Texas. <laughs> Kid's right. Give up. We did. No, we can't quit. Are you saying we should try again next year? No! Tell you the truth, I'm never voting again. <laughs> like marriage, no matter who you choose, it turns out bad. Sure Unless that. you're rich. And they get everything they want. Well, fine. Let them have their birds and their air and their, even their presidents. But we cared about beer. And they took it away from us. Hey, sure, what do they care if a man who sells shoes or fixes cars or totes that barge or... Spears that duty in the park has to use his whole paycheck to buy one beer. <laughs> what do they care? No, Texas. They're Texas. at their outdoor restaurants eating their little pizzas and <laughs> drinking some fine wine at a no smoking section with their <laughs> sexy, skinny second wives. But we're breeding with peasant stock. <laughs> no offense, Peg. <laughs> one thing I know we're never going to win through the system. Voting has never been the American way. We didn't get away from that pansy country England by voting. 
We did it by throwing their stinking tea in our American harbor. Yeah. And why? Because Americans don't like tea. <laughs> we like coffee. And Americans don't like wine. We like beer. Yeah. Ice cold. Yeah. Ice cold, toxic. best in a bottle, but fine any way you can get it. Belch and burp and wake up in a pool of a beer. <laughs> so let's show them how a beer man votes. Let's get blitzed and take it to the streets. Let's strike a blow anywhere they dine al fresco. <laughs> anywhere they eat brie cheese. And anywhere they wear their pants up high around their waist in the European way. <laughs> The only thing that Americans understand is mindless Tom and Jerry cartoon-like violence. <laughs> so let's go kick some elite butt. <laughs> give me beer or give me death. <laughs> you are been getting emotional as well. Or both. <laughs> Let's pillage. Yeah! I love that. Like I said, it wasn't his first rally. But our point here is we know where real violence comes from, and it's not from that magic box I like to call TV. <laughs> well, sure, the tube can be blamed for a lot of things. Brent Musburger. <laughs> Full House. <laughs> Any show where overweight female cops dress up as hookers? <laughs> but violence? That's too easy. We've all been brought up on Roadrunner cartoons and the Three Stooges, yeah. but how many of us have run a saw across a bald guy's head? <laughs> how many of us have drawn a tunnel on the side of a mountain only to watch our loved ones smash themselves into it? Yeah. And you know why? Because we had parents, ladies and gentlemen. Parents who said, don't do what TV tells you to do. Do what we tell you to do, or it's five across the eyes. <laughs> anyway, I say if there's a problem with TV today, it's because parents aren't saying that anymore. Take my kids, please. <laughs> Take my kids, please. Thanks for the joke, Jefferson. <laughs> Kennedy's on the floor. <laughs> Kennedy's always on the floor. <laughs> anyway, my kids may not be angels, but when they screw up, I don't blame TV. I put the blame squarely where it belongs. On their mother. <laughs> and rap music. And rap music. I like rap music. No. No. I'm talking to the Senate. <laughs> so in conclusion, I'd like to say, the next time you want to find the source of violence, try looking on the other side of the screen. Thank you. And God save the queen. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say God save the queen? So, that was the wisdom of Al Bundy. <laughs> and it was absolutely brilliant. It was really, really funny. Uh, right from the get-go when he's talking about giving your uh, wife uh, anniversary present always get a good fucking present man always <clears throat> otherwise you never hear the end of it for the rest of the year and <clears throat> uh the uh, labor day one was absolutely brilliant like at that point i mentioned he it, this is not the first rally he ran because it sounded like he had a lot of practice you know what i mean it was absolutely brilliant and beer and Taxes, not taxes, because I thought it was taxes. Something to do with the, what do you call it, state of taxes. But no, it's taxes. That was funny as well. Uh, and uh, the last one when he's talking about the violence from TV is actually your wife when he throws it in. <laughs> that was funny, man. I really did enjoy that. And I'm so much, so much looking forward to watching the whole eight season of it. However many seasons there are, because I really do enjoy this. And I hope you did too. If you did, like, subscribe, share and leave a comment. Also, check out my other playlist and I'll see you guys next time.